Chris Brackett here from CW Hayden, uh, coming to you with the latest update, news, and info on 3M status of N95s. In particular, some changes with the 8511 that does have NASH approval on it. The 8511, which does come with a valve on the front of it, is probably the most readily available N95 you can find on the market right now. Um, that being said, a lot of places don't want to use it because of the valve. The fear is somebody uh, may have a virus or whatnot and they can still uh, pass along to other people because as they breathe out, the valve allows air out. So what 3M has done is they have gotten NASH approval to use 3M um, 3920 duct tape. And what you do is you basically take the duct tape and you put it over the inside of the valve. Now there's a little rectangle in here. You need to completely cover that rectangle. But if you completely cover the rectangle, it will block your air from um, actually going out. It does not affect the integrity of the mask. You still get the N95 level of protection and it comes with NIOSH approval. Um, we also will be selling duct tape in these strips. So with a purchase of a box of 8511s, you can also purchase a strip of 10 tabs that you can simply peel off and place over the center of the mask to basically negate the valve, like I said. Um, it's real simple to do. Like I said, the biggest thing is it does still have NASH approval. So your employees can put this duct tape over it and still meet all the necessary requirements. Um, if you use a duct tape that is not this specific one that is specced in by the NASH approval, you do run the risk of um, not being in compliance. So I, I strongly recommend if you do do it, make sure you have the correct duct tape. If you have any questions, feel free to call us 1-800-333-2054 or check us out on our website, cwhadenonline.com.